Human beings have always looked at nature and searched for patterns. Eons ago, we gazed at the stars and discovered patterns we call constellations, even coming to believe they might control our destiny. We watch the days turn to night and back to day, and seasons as they come and go, and called that pattern time. We see symmetrical patterns in the human body and the tiger's stripes and build those patterns into what we create from art to our cities. But what do patterns tell us? Why should the spiral shape of the Nautilus shell be so similar to the spiral of a galaxy? Or the spiral found in a sliced open head of cabbage? When scientists seek to understand the patterns of our world, they often turn to a powerful tool, mathematics. They quantify their observations and use mathematical techniques to examine them, hoping to discover the underlying causes of nature's rhythms and regularities. And it's worked, revealing the secrets behind the elliptical orbits of the planets to the electromagnetic waves that connect our cell phones. Mathematics has even guided the way, leading us right down to the subatomic building blocks of matter. Which raises the question, why does it work at all? Is there an inherent mathematical nature to reality? Or is mathematics all in our heads? This is the introduction which is telling us about patterns. So, patterns, for me, it's like this. If you want to understand science or how the universe work, you, it works, you, you need to have a clear definition of what a pattern is. And the first time, actually, I, ex I experienced the use of pattern was uh, the time I was using, I guess, Photoshop. Uh, when, like, uh, you can use kind of factual noise or factual patterns and make, use those patterns to, to make something. Um, and later on, I used it in some 3D softwares. Uh, so what I can say about pattern is a set, it's a complex uh, structure that is hard, or it's, in its essence, it's hard to repeat. But at the end of the day, some patterns are repeatable. Uh, that means like the, the, the winner of them all would, would not repeat itself, which uh, in the video they explained about uh, the fact that the number of the pi, uh, all number behind the, the comma, mm -hmm. are never repeat themselves until like one video or something like that. So, so, so that is a great pattern. But uh, in, in real life and, and when I was doing some graphics, I get to experience it, I get to see the value of um, the complexity of it and the more complex it is, the better it is a pattern. I'm okay with what he said, by the way, uh, but I can, take it, I can take another approach of it. I think a pattern, mathematically, when I observe the universe, I kind of take it like as if it's a set of rules that that uh, that matter have to have to obey to in order to come into existence. Like how can I put it? Like a spiral, maybe. Example spiral for the spiral. Pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. For the spiral to be a perfect, for a spiral to be a perfect spiral, it has to follow some rules. Like if you 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 you. Uh, I am not very mathematician, by the way, <laughs> but I do watch yes, a lot Yes, and that's of... <laughs> one thing I like about this topic. People think we are all full of formulas and stuff, but yeah. mathematics <laughs> is more of about philosophy or, I don't know, thinking than, than calculations. Than calculation, it's, yeah. it's really not about numbers. You need to understand things on a higher level 
to go down and then understand. That's why we, 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 we spent time calculating at, at school, but we did not have any idea of what we were doing. Yeah. And that's the very wrong way of, of undertaking. Of Actually, I used to have math. a lecturer who always told me that math was, not that math was the key to everything, but math was everything. I mean, we call it math because it's a language, but it's a language we, we use to, to describe that encoding of the universe. So mathematics is all that there is. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe to, 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 to make it simple, I don't know, there are different patterns, graphic patterns, yeah. you know, mathematical patterns, yeah. but a pattern is just a repetition. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. I mean, you could, you could have many definitions, of a pattern, but a pattern is simply a repetition. So, so that's a repetition. A repetition is if you have a phenomenon that is taking place, that is happening over and over and over, and then you notice that this phenomenon is not only happening in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a certain circumstances, but it is going in different circumstances or situations but with the same kind of uh, similarities. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Ivan. I would say like a pattern is, uh, and it's not a fact. I hope you understand. <laughs> <laughs> a repetitive occurrence of a perception. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll have to explain and that. That's as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. I will explain it. Maybe an way. example. Oh, I mean, because, we because, need an example. Because the, the fact I'm, mm -hmm. I'm mentioning a perception because what I can consider that my eyes have clearly seen, you probably have seen it differently. And then if the same thing I saw is repetitive, that makes it itself a pattern. But now we can, it's arguably that the shape is what I, what I saw is what you saw. Mm -hmm. That's, that, yes, that's I what think makes that's another philosophical. question. Yes. Yes. But with oh, perception, that. it comes with subjectivity. If it comes with <laughs> universal language, but if subjectivity is involved, it means everyone perceives his own universe, his own kind of pattern. Yeah. That makes yeah. it hard, actually. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. thing about yeah. mass yeah. is we, we have different tribes, with different cultures, different belief systems, different political systems, but when it comes to science, there is a common agreement on this thing. Yeah. So there is a common pattern. Like if I throw this thing up, it will fall down. Everything you, you, you throw up falls down. And then Newton is like, why do things fall? There is a pattern here. Maybe I can investigate more into this pattern once I have defined it and given it some numbers and formulas, I can call it gravity, you know? So, I, I mean, that's, that's, that's a pattern. And scientists you like to use patterns a lot in everything they do because they, they are absolute and they kind of, I mean, these, these rules were kind of developed through evolution and the best way to do things is to copy that because they have been kind of perfecting themselves for, for quite a long time. Fundamental pillars of the universe. So mm -hmm. they, are, they, they are the fundamental pillars of, mm -hmm. of the universe. They That's a quote. By the way, good that. <laughs> That's a quote. But from, let's take an example. If you have like ants, you know, ants, they live. They, they move a lot and they move together. So, and then they, they kind of have to take food somewhere and then take it to another place, maybe where they live. So you, you, you have many ants going in different directions, mm -hmm. but these ants never have a traffic jam, mm -hmm. you know? And they never have a traffic jam because they know how to deal with traffic. When there is a feeling that there's going to be a traffic jam, some of them just stop, and some continues, and it kind of helps 
you know, the, 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 the way they are circulating. The humans are not good with that because we, we, we are computing and then we have to kind of create some chaos and stampede. But the, 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 the data, uh, the way you send data on the internet, on the, on the internet network, the, if you have like many connections in one node, the, the, the TCP IP protocols, they use exactly the same patterns as the ants. So this is how you send emails and they, you know, so you don't get a message saying your email was not delivered because there was a traffic jam. It's, it's like, the, if ants can do it better, maybe we can copy them and do the same for our technology. And ants have had, you know, a long time to kind of develop that behavior. So that's a pattern. It's like you are taking one pattern and applying it into a completely different field, and then it works. Martin, call number. I see three things. One, precision. Two, illustration. And three, process. Mm -hmm. So if I had to define pattern, now a whole, it's something close to, or even something, or a precise expression of a process. Mm -hmm. How is that wrong? <laughs> Can I ask a question? Maybe to understand better. Is a formula a pattern? The no. formula. No, no, no. 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 It just explains how the pattern, like what, the how the, funda pattern the fundamental. So it's, it's a description of a pattern. Yeah, yeah it's, it's what you use. Yeah. Yeah. How I see a pattern personally, mm -hmm. it's first you see a sequence, and then after you explain that, after you observe that there is a phenomenon that's occurring repeatedly, and you've studied it, and then you explain it, that's when you get a formula for when you throw a stone and it keeps mm -hmm. coming back. Mm -hmm. That's when you get a formula. Then after that, you're going to have a name for that phenomenon. For them, you asked you ask, uh, why they kept observing astral uh, phenomena that were happening to explain exactly at what time, what month is it, what is it, uh, like the, the zodiac signs and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. So how, the reason why I think they observed on, a, on such a big scale is you can't just observe like how climate is changing and then tell that the time is this way yeah, because exactly. climate, just like we saw in the in the, yes. in the in the in the documentary, is not reliable that much. It can be random. It can be random, and it can, it's not always mm. the same thing. But if it's on a bigger scale, then it means it won't be as wrong as when you're going to observe. Let's say it's it's, it's night time. No, it's dark, so it's night time. When actually there could be an, uh, a solar eclipse or anything other that explain it, that, that exp that's explaining the darkness that's out there. So how I see uh, a pattern really is after you've explained what you've observed. You are saying perception. I understand it's more of how you, you observe something and try to understand it and explain it. That's when after that you're going to have a pattern that you can apply on other things just like you said. And then you, as you said, uh, you said three points, but for some of that, I don't really get it. Uh, so I, I can only understand that it is something you study that you can apply it to some other phenomenon, or some other sequence, and then see that if it if fits. When it fits, then you can explain, you can say that that pattern is actually so intrinsic in the in the universe. It's so it's so everywhere, like the, the Fibonacci sequence. Mm, yes. That's when you're gonna first. He, he had a sequence. <coughs> And then they are applied it to, let's say, petals, and then next it was spirals, and then next it was something else. And then after that, they're right. like, okay, actually this thing is so deep, it's, it goes yes. like way beyond our understanding, maybe even beyond, 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 we're going to keep uh, discovering more. 